Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update today on how the day went with uh, planting corn. I did end up finishing the day. It uh, went fairly well, uh, pretty good. Just had one little uh, hiccup at the very end. Uh, I think I had about three acres left in uh, the, I guess you call it the throttle control rod that's on the steering column. Uh, I, I was outside picking up some rocks jumped back in the tractor and I hit the throttle to go and the rod just fell and hit the ground. I'm like, oh my god, really? And, and uh, so anyways, uh, I'll turn this camera around here and show you the rod here and show you how it works and stuff. Here's my throttle rod that broke off on the, from the steering column. The threaded part broke right off the end where it screws into the column. You'd never think something like that would ever break off. I don't know why they made the rod bigger and the thread smaller, why they didn't just make the whole thing that size all the way to the end, make a bigger thread, be stronger. But anyways, um, I'll show you in the tractor exactly where it goes and how it works. Right here is where it screws into. It goes just like that. And then you move this up and down to regulate your speed also has a foot pedal that you can regulate it right here luckily I had that uh, but I couldn't get quite enough speed out of that and I didn't really want to monkey with uh, adjusting it out in the field and lose a little clip or something then I'd really be in big trouble so I uh, kind of did a little bit more investigating I was going to thread something into here and then put like a vice grip on there so I could move it up and down uh, but I couldn't find a rod uh, a bolt that would thread into there. I don't know if it's metric or I just didn't have the right size. Uh, so anyways, then I discovered that if I just grab on the outside edge here and twist it, with it hurt, it's hard to do. I need both hands. I can't do it on the camera here. But if I twist it, I can adjust it. And then I can get it set to where I needed it. So I was able to finish the field. I think I had like three acres left when this broke. Uh, but anyways, I got that broke. Uh, the new part's coming in Wednesday. It won't be here till next Wednesday, but that's okay. I can get by with just the foot pedal by then. Until then, um, I gotta move, uh, cut some trees along the edge of the woods, and uh, then after I get that done, I gotta plow around the edges of the woods where I left a little strip, uh, and then I'll be ready to go out there with a field cultivator. Uh, but then I won't do that until after I get this threaded rod back on there next Wednesday. Uh, in the meantime, I'll switch the corn planter over to beans and stuff, and I got to mow my lawn, and there's plenty to do around here. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you that. Did get the corn in. I did end up having one bag of seed corn left over. I always get worried at the end if I'm going to have enough, but it ended up I had, had one bag left over. I think I usually order an extra bag. That's probably why. Uh, so, anyways... Got the corn planter back in the shed. I gave her a quick uh, pressure washing job and then I sprayed the chains down, chains down with oil so they don't rust. I like to do that. I'm pretty particular about that. Since my chains, I haven't never replaced them yet. They're still in pretty good shape. I take pretty good care of my chains on there. Um, it looks like rust in the front there. But it looks like dirt, but it ain't. It's rust. Uh, someday I'm going to fix that and then those straps around the yellow tanks I want to take them tanks off and uh, repaint them uh, bands around the tank and the brackets down below uh, give them a repaint job that makes it look the whole thing look bad and get her a little better looking a little bit a little bit at a time there's one more thing I wanted to add be quick uh, I was going to mention when I seen that threaded part broke off in the steering column I'm like oh my god how am I going to get that out of there and uh, I took the old rod and I just held it up against there and pushed against it and uh, turned it and it came right out. I couldn't believe it. I was so lucky. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next uh, Wisconsin Greg Show. Uh, have a great day everyone and uh, we'll see you later. Bye now.